Sounds good. Any questions? No. <laughs> so you have done this before? No. Well, I kind of have. Yeah, I lie. <laughs> oh, really? He's an alumni. <laughs> an alumni, I love it. <laughs>
and I'm sure you know there was danger there in some respects. But we we got treated with such respect, and, and there seemed yeah. to be joy about the fact that we were there. And it did have a definite effect on the crew, didn't it? And, and I'm sure it had yeah. then an indirect or direct effect on what's on screen. Uh, if James Bond had to pick one Bond girl to spend the rest of his life with on a desert island, um, which one should he pick? Um, God. Um, well, I think Bond doesn't pick just one girl no, to spend on a deserted why would, island. Why, why, pick why, one? Would he, why would Bond pick just one girl to spend on a deserted <laughs> island? Um, I, I, it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, obviously the most practical and the most... I don't, you know, it's, no, I don't think... There's too many to choose from. If, there, if we'd only done about five films, I think that there were five films in, in the history of it, it would be an easier choice, but there's so many Bond, Bond girls. Um, you know, the sexiest, nicest, practical, most beautiful one of all, I can't think of that because there's many that, that would fulfill that criteria, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with you, and I think, but Bond itself is, I think, wouldn't actually spend the rest of his life with just with one girl. I think that, I mean, the fact is that if they were stuck on a desert island, he'd find a way to get off. I mean, it's, <laughs> so yes. whoever it was would, you know, hopefully, you know, just get involved with that. You think the girl would get off, or you? <laughs> 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 I always wonder when, when you when in the action sequences we did. Mm. How is that when you're in a suit and and you're dealing with the flexibility of it and that stuff? Well, that the, we have you? with the suits we get made. Are, I mean, obviously we've got sort of ten repeats. I mean, you yeah. know, of, of, or at least ten repeats of each suit, depending on what action sequence we're doing. But we always get at least two sizes. Mm. Uh, one which fits perfectly and is all tailored in and looks good, and and then another one which is two, maybe two sizes bigger that we can put all the padding in underneath. Mm. Tom Ford's tailoring is particularly good, so in fact, very rarely could you actually see me, see actually when I'm wearing the padding. Um, mm. um, and they didn't, I mean, they stood up. I mean, we set them on fire and ripped them and tore them and they stood but up. But you never felt in the check as uncomfortable to move No, that was a mu very much about a lot of the work we put in before we started shooting with the costume department mm. was, was to, yeah. you know, to get it out and wear them and make sure that there was no restrictions. Yeah. I mean, they did, you know, they just, they fell to pieces at times, but that was yeah. usually only because someone had cut them or sort of oh, okay. to make them rip. So. They lasted quite well. Yeah. Is that Tom Ford? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right, okay. If you could perform the next Bond song, who would you choose for the duet? Um, I think that's, uh, that's probably a, it's, it's a tough one. Mm. But, uh, Maria Callas. Huh? Maria Callas. Maria Callas <laughs> is, 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 a, is, a, is a very good... Yeah. Maybe Celine Dion. <laughs> Yeah, pushing the boat out now. Like, like, I think she would have sort of my voice range. <laughs> yeah, I think she so would, yeah. I, I think, you could I think, keep up with her. Yes, I, I, I think I could. Right. Yes. What's the best part about playing James Bond? The truth is, I think, I mean, there's lots of things. I mean, I mean the obvious things are, you know, that having lovely suits, locations, and, 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 and driving beautiful cars, and all those things. They are a given, as far as I'm concerned. But for me, genuinely, it's the collaborative process. There are, we work, and we get to work with some of the best people in the business on, on a big, big, big movie, which is rare, I mean, and could, could considerably be rare in the future. And that whole process, for me, of being on set with you and the crew and the actors, and achieving something like that, it's just, it just gives me the biggest kick. It's a really good job, and I, 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 I try and enjoy every second of it when I'm filming. Oh, there we go. Um, thank you, Dal uh, thank, thank you, you darling. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Daniel. Movie phone and to and uh, to you for watching and sending in your questions. And uh, please check out our film Pano of Solos because uh, we both, I think, you know, the world of it. But mm. I actually made the Bond film. I always wanted to see, so I'm really happy with it. Nice. Oh, yeah. This was strange. Yeah, very strange. Very strange. Is this more? Strange, I think. That, that's not real. <laughs> that was I know that's not. <laughs> All right.